It's time to take a break and relax to deal with anger in a healthy, productive way. Anger is a normal and natural emotion, and there is nothing wrong with having feelings, you are human, after all. You have the power to decide how to deal with this emotion you are experiencing. Anger management does not mean holding anger in. It does not mean that you will never feel angry. Anger management is managing the behavioral responses that can arise when you are feeling angry. All you really need to do right now is take a few moments just to relax for you, to help you feel relaxed and calm. It feels good to relax. After this short relaxation session is over, you can proceed with your day and react in a way that you choose. Relaxing for a moment now will help you to react calmly, rather than acting out of emotion. It's okay to be angry. Just allow yourself to feel however it is you are feeling right now, noticing this feeling, but not reacting just yet. All you're doing is observing. Emotions are neither right nor wrong. They just are. Take a deep breath in. Hold for a moment, and now breathe out. Breathe in. Hold that tension. And now breathe out. Feeling the tension release with your breath. Breathe in. and out, in, out. Keep breathing like this, slowly, deeply, and let your body relax a little. Turn your attention again to how you are feeling. Notice the physical sensation of anger. Where in your body is the anger stored? Some people notice that they tighten their shoulders when they are feeling angry. Others who deal with anger notice clenched fists or tight jaws. Anger may be experienced as a feeling in the stomach, the neck, any one or a number of places in the body demonstrate physical symptoms of anger. Many of these physical symptoms are uncomfortable. Some of these symptoms can be relieved right now, if you like by relaxing your muscles. Let's relax a few areas to begin this process to deal with anger by relaxing your muscles. Starting with your hands and arms, first tighten your hands into fists. Feel the tension in your hands and arms. Hold. Tighter. Tighter. and relax. Let go, allowing your hands and arms to be relaxed, loose and limp. Notice the difference between tension and relaxation. Now see if you can create a feeling of relaxation in your shoulders. Take a moment to relax your shoulders now. You may choose to tighten the muscles, and then relax, or you can simply relax your shoulders without tensing them first. Do whatever seems to work the best.
Focus now on your face and jaws. Relax your face and jaws, tensing first if you want to. Let all the tension leave your face. Let the tension leave your jaws. Leaving your face and jaws limp, smooth, and relaxed. Scan your body now, for remaining areas of tension. Relax each area that feels tense. Scan your body from head to toe. Relaxing each part of your body. Take note of how you are feeling now. Physically. Emotionally. You are controlling anger right now, just by the fact that you have not yet reacted with angry behaviors. You have chosen to relax, to deal with anger in a healthy way. To increase the control you have over anger, you may want to repeat some affirmations to help create realistic, rational thinking. Also called self-control thoughts. Here are five affirmations for anger management to help deal with anger. I acknowledge that I am feeling angry right now, and accept the way I feel. I have the power to control my reactions. I can fully experience this anger, yet wait before I take action. I can feel angry, but calm and in control at the same time. It's okay to feel angry. Notice again how you are feeling. Physically, how are you feeling? Let your body relax a little more, relaxing any tense areas. Emotionally, how are you feeling? See how emotions come and go. Anger can come and go. It will not last forever. There is a limited time where you exercise self-control, before the anger is no longer an issue. You may feel less angry, just as angry, or more angry now than you were at the beginning of this relaxation session. To deal with anger that may remain, you may need a way to express the anger and get it out. You do not have to keep your emotions inside. You can choose how to express them. You can let anger out by breathing deeply. Breathing in relaxation and breathing out anger. Letting anger go with each breath. There are other ways to express anger, too. You can do any of these activities after this to allow yourself freedom to express the anger you experienced. Physical exercise, journaling, talking to someone you trust. There are many ways to express yourself. After the anger has decreased and you are feeling calm, you might want to address the situation that was upsetting by taking action to change the situation. Or speaking to the person you were upset with. Or you may just choose to let the situation go. Once your anger has decreased you can choose whatever option seems best. You have the right to feel a range of emotions, including anger, and to express these emotions in healthy ways that you choose. I'll conclude this video with some breathing. Take a deep breath in. and out, in, out, relaxing with each breath, 
in, out, in, out. Keep breathing deeply to deal with anger and feel relaxed and calm. Congratulate yourself for dealing with anger with relaxation. I'll count now from 5 to 1. Imagine that right now, you are at a 5. And that when I reach 1 you will be feeling awake and alert, yet calm, peaceful, and relaxed. 5. 4 3 2 1